This is Journey with Prayer, a prayer journey corresponding to the previous episode of Journey with Care, Differently Wired, ADHD in Community, with Marcia. Everyone else doesn't get angry at the drop of a hat. Everyone else knows how to say sorry and offer forgiveness or to acknowledge someone else's perspective even without getting upset. And so I'm just failing. I'm failing, I'm failing, I'm failing. God must be so ashamed of me. When God looks at me, he's he's ashamed and he's like, come on, get it together, get it together. Everyone else around you is getting it together. And so for me, the pivot moment was when I realized that God loved me exactly as I am, which sounds like very basic. Mm -hmm. But when I actually started to believe that at my very worst, when I could not manage anything and I felt like I could not hold anything together, that's when I was loved. But God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. And since we have been made right in God's sight by the blood of Christ, he will certainly save us from God's condemnation. Romans 5, 8-9, taken from the NLT. Father, we gather in awe of the love you have lavished upon us, a love so remarkable that it reaches us even in our perceived imperfections. Your love is transformative, and we thank you for the powerful reminder that you are not ashamed of us. Lord, your unfailing love and acceptance reshape how we see ourselves and our place in this world. So we pray for those burdened by feelings of shame or inadequacy in our communities. May your Holy Spirit overflow in their hearts, whispering the truth of their worthiness and belovedness. Help us to see each other through your eyes with grace and compassion, especially for those navigating life with ADHD. Remind us that they too are intricately made in your image and endowed with unique gifts that enrich our lives. And we celebrate the diversity of gifts you've bestowed upon us. Ignite within us a desire to cultivate these gifts, to see the beauty in our diverse ways of thinking and being. Guide us as we support one another, particularly those dealing with the challenges of impulsivity or hyperactivity. Equip us to be agents of your peace and joy, making our communities places of acceptance and love. And transform our hearts. Free us from the chains of shame and unforgiveness. Fill us with your wisdom and compassion so we may nurture our children, friends, and community members as lovingly as you care for us. May our lives be living testimonies of your boundless grace and unconditional love. In Jesus' name, amen. Ask yourself the question, how can I embrace and reflect God's love in my relationships, especially those who are differently wired? As you go through your week, I want to encourage you, take the time to reflect. Meditate on Romans 5, 8-9 and contemplate how God's unconditional love can inspire you to treat yourself and others with grace and compassion. Engage. Seek out a moment to connect with someone in your community or family who may feel unseen or misunderstood. Offer them your genuine presence and an open heart. And you can pray. Here's three ways you can pray. Pray for those who struggle with feelings of inadequacy and shame, that they may experience God's unconditional love. And then pray for increased empathy and understanding within your community, that we may all honor the unique ways God has crafted each of us. And finally, pray for your own heart to be transformed, so that you can better reflect God's love in every interaction and relationship. 
You can check the show notes for these references, prayers, and scriptures, or to find out more about our podcasts or listen to the corresponding episode for today, head over to journeywithcare.ca slash podcast. I'm Johan, and thanks for praying with me today.